Humanly speaking, there is no cure for the crazy mind. The mental illness can only be managed, not cured. It's all in your head. For a cure means it's gone forever. Never to be seen again. Technically speaking, of course. Well, friends, I'm sorry you got to meet uh, Kathy's Uncle Bob, the mad scientist, and Stigmalian. I just I try and keep them out of the booth, but sometimes they just sneak in. Most scientists agree with Bob to at least some degree. And, of course, most people have kind of a Stigmalian attitude that it's just a weakness, you need to get over it, you need to suck it up. But my take on it is this. There is not a single cure for mental health issues or mental illness. So I have put together what I think are five things that we can do, all of us can do, to be mentally healthy. I'm using the word brain as an acronym for these five areas that we should all work on. You'll see in the rest of this video just a document that I've put together to describe what each word in the acronym is and what it means to us. I'll talk a little bit about each of the five letters as the infographic is displayed, but if you want to read it in more detail, you'll probably have to pause the video, or I'll also have a link for it in the description of this video. When I worked with homeless people in Las Vegas, I realized that the biggest difference between me and them was they didn't have a support system. We all need people around us who can help us through our toughest times. So what I'm suggesting is that you put together your own band. Go ahead and read through the document so you understand better what I mean. The world we live in seems to demand that we stay busy all the time. And we set expectations that we have to fill every minute of every day. But to maintain our mental well-being, we must rest. Here are just a few examples of the kind of rest we need. Seeking professional help is essential to everyone's mental health. I realize that's a very bold statement, but just like a regular physical, a regular mental health checkup will improve the quality of your life. Mental illness is truly a function of something going awry in your brain. And in most cases, that something can be treated. Scientists believe that a thought can have similar effects upon your body as an act. In fact, in my case, I think my thoughts are oftentimes my own worst enemy. This is an area where I need a lot more understanding and a lot more control. Look this over and let me know what you think. This is one subject that we'll be spending a lot of time on. We all know that eating right and getting exercise will make us feel better. And we also all know that this is an area that slips back when we're not feeling well mentally. Especially when we're in a seriously bad mental state. It's so tempting to just eat whatever you want and to do nothing. My advice in this category is to just constantly be trying to do a little better. Try a little harder to move a little more. Try a little harder to eat an orange and not a candy bar. It's also my strong belief that as we begin to feel better mentally, this part of the task becomes easier. Well, friends, there it is. There's the plan, the process that I hope to move forward with. I want to help as many people as I can to feel better, just have better mental health and well-being, but I also hope to help prevent some suicides along the way. Um, I, you know, this is the beginning of the plan. It will grow and develop and blossom, and I hope you'll be part of it. I hope you'll join me in uh, making this something that makes a difference. That's what it's all about.